welcome back to Metal Bend Chronicles. And this is going to be the first installment in my look back on the year 1980 series. Yes, since, you know, now we're in the year 2020, I figured, you know, what I'm going to start this series talking about albums that came out in 1980 that I feel like had an impact and a huge influence on where, you know, metal would go and where metal is today cur currently. I mean, we had a lot of great debuts come out in 1980, you know, you had the first Iron Maiden come out, you had Judas Priest with British Still, you had, right here, this one right here, what we're going to talk about today, the debut album by Angel Witch, you know, you had Motorhead with Ace of Spades, um, just a lot of really good stuff, you also had a couple clunkers too that came out in 1980, Kiss with Unmasked, you know, Alice Cooper, Flust of Fashion, but yeah, man, there was a lot of great albums. You know, Diamond Head Lightning to the Nation, too. Another great new wave of British heavy metal album that came out in 1980. I mean, there's a plethora of albums that came out that year to me that have been very influential on the direction metal would be in today. You know, Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell, too, the first with Ronnie James Dio. Anyways, let's just get on to... A discussion and a bit of a review talking about the debut album from Angel Witch. Well, you know, the only original member you have left is Kevin Hayborn on vocals and guitars. You know, he's been the mainstay in Angel Witch since its inception back in 1977. Let's see, you got um, Kevin Riddle on guitar, or no, Kevin Riddle on drums and, or, wait, no, I'm wrong. Kevin Riddle on bass and keyboards, excuse me there. And you have David Hogg on drums. Okay, now I got it right. Yeah, anyways, this album came out in 1980. I think it came out in April of 1980. But yeah, the debut Angel Witch album, and it's definitely influential. I mean, you got the iconic opening track, Angel Witch, to begin the album. Just right away with that catchy guitar riff, you know, and just a pure new wave of British heavy metal track, you know. And probably, I would say probably the most well-known track on here, you know, because of that chorus, you're an angel witch, you're an angel witch, you know. Just a really good opener, you know. Let's see, you also got Atlantis track two, really good track. White Witch, one of my favorites on here. Really good track. Confused. Confused is a good heavy track. Again, a track that's been covered by a couple bands. Onslaught and... I think Six Feet Under covered it too. You know? But, yeah, it's a really cool track. Confused is definitely a driving heavy track. You know? Sorcerers is next, another great track, you know. I mean, the tr this album's just full of greatness, I'm telling you. So you got Gorgor, Sweet Danger, a little speed metal track. I mean, yeah, it just doesn't let up on here. Free Man, a bit of, uh, Free Man's a bit more melodic, you know. It definitely has that 70s sound to it, you know. Probably the most melodic track on here. You got Angel of Death. Let's talk about Angel of Death real quick. Probably one of my favorite tracks on here. Again, a few years back, Exodus did a cover of Angel of Death on their uh, Blood In and Blood Out album. Just a brilliant, heavy track. Man, it's got a crushing riff, man. Not to be confused with Slayer's Angel of Death. Naturally, this would be way before that. But yeah, just such a bone-crushing riff. Basically a staple of what you would hear, you know, when it comes to thrash metal with those crunchy riffs. So yeah, Angel of Death is by far a killer track, you know. And we end it with Devil's Tavern. Again, another really cool track. And, you know, I got the 25th anniversary edition here of Angel Witch's debut album. So it's got a bunch of bonus stuff on here. It's got a couple tracks from the Metal for Mo Metal for Mothers EP or compilation that came out back in the early '80s, featuring a bunch of new wave of British heavy metal bands on it. But yeah, so yeah, 
this album is just iconic. It's classic. You know, it's one of my all-time favorite albums. And of course, you know, Angel Witch is still going today. They haven't released a ton of albums. They only have five studio albums. Like, sporadically, they put out albums. I mean... And of course, you know, we got this one right here being their newest album, Angel of Light, which is just tremendous, too. But yeah. So yeah, Angel Witch is still active, obviously. And every time they do come out with an album, it definitely delivers. But yeah, I would definitely rank the debut album by Angel Witch a 10 out of 10. It's just a great debut album. A great new wave of British heavy metal album. And... Definitely an influential album when it comes to, you know, the new wave of British heavy metal. You can hear a lot of where Merciful Fate would go, for example, in Angel Witch's sound. You know, you can hear the crunch that Metallica would develop and bands like that in the thrash metal movement when it comes to tracks like Angel with Death, like I said. So yeah, definitely a very good track. I definitely recommend you check this album out if you've never heard it. And that's pretty much it for this review. All right. Keep it metal, and stay tuned for more in this 1980 series. All right, peace.